From time to time, you may want to offer discounts and have your items on sale for a specific amount of time. Be it a seasonal product or a way to clear off inventory, SAP Business One offers the ability to define a discount by date and quantities for a specific price list. You may also want to offer your customers volume discounts. You can set up period and volume discounts so that the discount entered will override the basic price in the business partner's assigned price list. The unit of measure must match the unit of measure defined in the discount for the discount to apply. First, let's review the Business Partner Master Data. Navigate to Main Menu, Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data. In our example, we review one of our customers, MaxiTech. By clicking the Payment Terms tab, we are able to see the related price list that is defaulted for MaxiTech. We can also see that the total discount percentage currently is blank. We do not offer MaxiTech any discount by default. Next, we will close the Business Partner Master Data window, return back to our main menu, and this time, we will navigate to Inventory, Price Lists, Period and Volume Discounts. In the Period and Volume Discount window, enter the price list for the special prices. This will be dependent on the date and quantity. In our example, we will select the regular sales price list. Next, we must enter the item number we want to make a period and volume discount for. In our example, it will be printer paper A4 white. When you enter an item number, the system automatically displays the appropriate item price for the price list selected in the general area of the window. The price here shows $7.50. Currently, this is the regular sales price for the item. Primary currency, in our case, US dollars. And the pricing unit comes from the item master of said item. In our example, the printer paper A4 white. You can see that the pricing unit is per pack and under the sales data tab, the sales unit of measure code is pack and the items per sales unit is one pack. Select the active checkbox to activate the period and volume discounts defined for the price list. If required, define a validity period for the defined period and volumes discount. To further add items to the list, choose the Add Items button. Here, you'll be able to specify a range of items to add to the list. This can be brought in by a range of codes, a range of vendors, item groups, and if needed, properties can also be used. To add it, date-dependent special prices, double-click the row number of the required item. The period discounts window will populate. Here, we are able to make a validity from today's date to one month, in our case, October 22nd. The price list is the regular sales price, as we have selected previously. Here, we are able to enter the desired discount for the period, in that case, 10%. You can see that the system automatically discounts 10% the original $7.50. Now we have $6.75 for customers that use the regular sales price list within the period of one month, from September 22nd to October 22nd. If the auto column is selected, the special price is also changed automatically when the price list is updated. If the price in the price list increases, for example, by 10%, the special price is also recalculated on the basis of the increase price in the price list and the discount for the special price. If it's not selected, the special price is not changed automatically in the scenario described. Further, we are able to select the row number and double click on the number. And now we are able to see the volume discount for the price list. As a note, you can define special prices by quantities for each unit of measure by adding a new row and selecting the relevant unit of measure in the unit of measure code column. As mentioned previously, as the item has only one unit of measure as pack, we are only able to see the change for the pack. However, we are able to change the quantity. So in this example, if 10 packs are purchased, we are able to increase the discount 15%. If they purchase 100 packs, we are also able to provide additional discount, 
Once we're happy with the volume discount, we'll click update to save. We'll click also update in period discount to save valid from and valid to values. And we'll click add in order to add the period and volume discount for this item. We will now check our special price with volume discounts, closing the period and volume discount window, navigating back to our main menu, selecting sales AR and sales order. We will bring up our customer, for example, MaxiTech, and we'll bring in our item code, the paper A4 white. One quantity of the printer A4 white with the unit of measure of pack shows $7.50 from the original regular sales price with automatically shown 10% discount to a total of 6.75. If we change the one to 10, we will see a further increase in discount automatically applied. Instead of $75 with the 15% discount, lowering it to 63.75. If we change from 10, to 100, we see a further increase from 15% to 17% to a total of $622.50. By changing the discount date from the 22nd to the 21st, we see that the discount for 100 units are giving 0% discount because it falls outside of the validity date. Again, it was 09 2020 to 10 2020 if we change that again to today's date or a next date, we see that automatically the 100 units are given the 17% discount. Let's not forget our delivery date and then add and save the order. We do want to update the delivery date for all lines. The order has been saved with the automatically applied discount. Period and volume discounts are one of many tools that SAP Business One offers to automate and make your sales process easier. Join us as we help you learn more about SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales-related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.